Hey pageant fans, the 71st Miss Universe competition will introduce several changes. Do you know which these are and how they will possibly affect our candidates? Welcome back to the 30 days Miss Universe coverage by Andy. I do hope that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel in order to stay up to date with all the news and information that I share about the Miss Universe pageant. Did you know that as of October, the Miss Universe organization has a new owner? JKN Global Group Public Company Limited, owned by the Thai woman Anne, has bought the Miss Universe organization for $20 million. Will this benefit the Asian countries though, especially Thailand? Honestly, I don't foresee any advantages for Asian candidates because I want to believe that this organization is honest and transparent. After all, real queens shine and are recognizable wherever they go. Goodbye Steve Harvey and welcome Katriona Gray as the new host for the Miss Universe pageant. I'm honestly kind of happy about this news. Nothing against Steve Harvey though, but I always had the feeling he was just there to read the script. A host like Katriona Gray knows the pageant world and can elaborate and talk more openly about stuff related to the pageant and not make the same jokes every year as Steve has been doing since the Philippines-Colombia mix-up in 2015. This year, the Miss Universe contestants are wearing personalized swimsuit capes and I love this very much. The more we see from the contestants' background, her culture and country, the better. That is, after all, what they are representing. The 71st Miss Universe will receive the brand new crown that was introduced, called Force for Good. All I can say is that I hope that the new Miss Universe will make sure that the crown looks good. Honestly, I was a bit disappointed when the crown was revealed, seeing the fact that Miss Universe is considered the number one pageant in the world, and I do not feel that the crown reflects that. It's a beautiful crown though, but not for a pageant of this magnitude, according to me. But I could be wrong. The new Miss Universe will also receive a new sash. They haven't revealed the design of the new sash yet, so I can't really comment on it. I do wish though that the finalists would also receive a sash. Today, the Miss Universe organization announced the list of their official new sponsors. We can expect to see CEOs or commercial managers of each of those sponsors as a judge. Seeing that most of the sponsors are now Asian, this might be an indirect advantage, but I count on a fair pageant with fair results. Change is always good and I personally encourage positive change in every organization. But there are still a few changes that I would like to see and these don't necessarily involve the organization. The evening gown competition is my favorite portion of the Miss Universe pageant. I know that this request is a bit difficult, but I do hope that the contestants move away from the completely sparkly gowns, or at least move away from the silver and the gold tones. The last years it has become kind of predictable what the candidates will wear for their evening gowns. I love it when candidates dare to shock us with bright colors and our simpler and classy designed dresses. I do know that this is a full glitz and glam pageant, but I do hope that the Miss Universe organization can encourage the contestants to wear less makeup and also even sneakers during events that do not require the full glam look. In this setting, I feel that the real queens will shine as they will be more comfortable to act more like themselves and not how they are trained to act. My last wish is that the Miss Universe organization would allow us to hear in on the private interviews. This would prevent us from being surprised by certain unexpected finalists being announced during the telecast. But why should it be private? We want to see our queens in action in all the aspects of the competition. In this way, we can better educate future queens too, as we as pageant coaches will also get a glimpse of what happens behind those closed doors. Do you have any changes that you would like to see at the Miss Universe pageant? Please share with me by commenting below. See you tomorrow! Thank you.